We want to use properties of logarithms to expand each logarithmic expression as much as possible. So properties of logarithms, well with the product we can actually split this into a sum, log base 4 of the first part of the product, which is 64, plus log base 4 of the second part of the product, which is x to the fifth. Now if we could get the 64 written as a power of 4, we'd be able to simplify the log part. And as it ends up, log base 4, 64 is 4 to the third power, so we can express it that way. The power rule also allows us, in this case, we could bring the power for our second log out in front. When we have an exponent, that can come out in front as a constant multiple of your logarithm. So that we have 5 times the log base 4 of x pulling down the exponent of 5 to be a um, product out in front. Now we know that log base 4 and the base of our exponents 4 cancels each other out as inverse operations and leaves the 3 from the exponent. And then we have the 5 times log base 4 of x, which cannot be broken down any further.